Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahawa Chachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who will well and teach well, because those are the men. Who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashi Mashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad. Push your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as The Speckled Bird Israelites. Yes, the Speckled Bird Israelites. What do I mean by that? You have Israelites out there. You have Israelites out there that look like a heathen. They may look like another nation, but they are an Israelite due to the seed line of their father. So you have Israelites out there, again, that may look like a heathen, but they are an Israelite. Their father is of a sea line of a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian. And this is what is the big problem. <coughs> Salakia. This is one of the biggest problems that's going on right now amongst Israel. Is you have a lot of Israelites out there that believe that Israelites are only Negro descent. And they're not only Negro descent. You got Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen. All right. And Israelites are not only Negro descent. That's incorrect. The so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are Israelites according to the scriptures. And then you got these other Israelite individuals. They believe that for you to be a full Israelite, a full-blooded Israelite, your mother and your father have to be an Israelite, which is incorrect. Because in that case, what about Joseph? Right. The one that became governor of Egypt. Right. His woman was a Hamite and she buried him Manasseh and Ephraim. You can read that in the scriptures. What about Moses? Because Moses, his woman was a Cushite. She was not an Israelite. She was of the line of Cush. Her father was Jephro. Right. Jephro was the mother, was the father in law, Salakia of Moses. Right. Which he gave Moses, Zephra, his daughter as Zephra. She was a Cushite. She was not an Israelite. You also had Solomon, which Solomon, he had a, a, a woman that was an Ammonitis. And he had, she buried him, um, uh, Jer, uh, Jer, uh, Jeroboam, or uh, Rehoboam. She, she, she buried him Rehoboam, Salakia. And Rehoboam became king over Israel, right? And Rehoboam's mother was an Ammonitis. And what is an Ammonitis according to the scriptures? It's a Japanese woman. So you mean to tell me that all of these people that I'm naming, they were going off? Long story short, I'm going to show this clip because I ramble long enough. I'm going to show you different clips through the spirit that you can see that these are Israelites. And I'm going to show you these. I'm going to show you these Jakes. They look like Edomites in the face, but they're not Edomites. You can tell by the spirit that they Jake. So I'm going to show you. This is why we don't go by the outward appearance. But the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. So you have Israelites, <coughs> Salaka, you have Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen, the 17 heathen nations. Started from Esau, Edom, on down. But you have the Israelites again, they father descend from a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, man. And a mother may be of the nations from number two on down, but that doesn't mean because their mother is of number two on down, that doesn't mean that they're not an Israelite. They're an Israelite. They descend from their father. Your father determines your nationality according to the scriptures. So I ramble long enough. Now I'm going to get some scriptures out. And then we're, I'm going to show you some videos showing you through the spirit that these are Israelites. These are Jake's. Yes, you got Jakes out there that look like that look like heathens. They may look like Edomites. They may look like Ishmaelites. They may look like Hamites, but they Israelites. You just gotta go by the spirit. The scripture tells us. 
Romans 8 and 16. It's a lot, your brothers. I'm still under the weather. Romans 8 and 16. It says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. See, the, the Spirit itself beareth witness. This is why we can't, you got a lot of these Israelite groups or Israelite individuals, oh, he a heathen. He's not an Israelite. You can't do that. You got these guys putting boots on people. You can't do that. How you know that that individual that you put your boot on is a, is, 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 a, is, a, is a heathen? He could be a Jake. And you putting your boot on him. You got, you got guys doing that. It says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. The spirit beareth witness. All right. How we know that we're Israelite is mainly through faith. That's how we know that we're Israelites is mainly through faith, right? Because the Lord, he discontinued us from our heritage. And how did we get discontinued from our heritage? We broke the old covenant. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Jeremiah 17 and 4, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. This is a curse that the Lord put upon us for rebellion. For disobedience. So the Israelites, they are scattered amongst these 17 heathen nations. And you had Israelite men that popped these women from number two on down. Yes, you have Israelites that popped heathen women. They slept from they slept with women from number two all the way down. So now you got Israelites out there. They may look like a heathen, but they are an Israelite because their father didn't pop their mom and then they were born. You have this going on to this very day now. Yes, these nations from number two on down that are women. Yeah, these are women from number two on down. Their husbands is Israelites. They they slept with Israelite men and had kids with them by them. Yes, you got that going on right now. So you got Israelites. They look like heathens, but they're not heathens. They're Israelites. Yep. So you had, you had Israelite men that popped heathen women and had kids with them from number two on down. Yep. So that's how. You are an Israelite according to the according to the sea line of your father. Numbers 1 and 18. The meaning of the word pedigrees. It means lineage. Who you descend from. Your father determines your nationality. Not your mom. Your mom buries the seed of that man. But your nationality is, is, is according to the sea line of your father. Whatever your father is. Is what you are. According to the Bible. It doesn't matter what your mom is. This is 1 Samuel 16 and 7. And this is what the Lord said. It says, but the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. Right. How big an individual is, how swole maximum of muscle he got, how skinny and frail and bony he is, what his face look like. If he's five foot, it don't matter about that. Oh, if he got freckles in his face or oh, he got blonde hair, blue eyes, it don't matter about that. Oh, that dude, he got he got a scar coming down his eye. That it don't matter about that. Oh, he got a Adam, he got a strong Adam apple poking out of his throat. It don't matter about that. Your nationality is determined from the sea like your father. That's why the Lord said, judge not on an outward, uh, outward appearance. All oh, the dude got three fingers on his hands. He's not an Israelite. Just, you know, just bugged out stuff. Oh, he's too light-skinned to be Israelite. Oh, he's too dark. Oh, he don't have no melanin. He's a, he's a heathen. No, you can't do that. That's why the Lord said this. So on to Samuel. This is 1 Samuel 16 and 7. It says, but the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance. Or on the height of his stature. How buff an individual is. Oh, he got maximum of muscle. Oh, he a Jake. Oh, the dude is too frail and light skinned. He ain't an Israelite. His hair is red. His hair is blonde. He got blue eyes. It don't matter about that. Your nationality is determined from the sea line of your father. It says, I have ref I have refused him, for the Lord seeth not as men seeth. See, men look at on the outward appearance. They judge on the outward appearance. You got these guys, um, ISUBK, they be doing that. Oh, you a heathen. You're not an Israelite. You a heathen. But then when the individual pull out a picture showing you that his dad is, is, is of the tribe of Judah and he's a dark skinned man. Now you looking stupid because you can't do that. That has happened to individuals where they were claiming to uh, persecute. Oh, you a heathen. And the individual told a guy, my my, my father is, is 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 of the sea line of Judah. And he, he he didn't even have melanin. Dude was fucking pale white on the outside. And he was telling them, yeah, my father is a, is a Judite. And then the individual, oh, no, you're not an Israelite. You're not an Israelite. He pulled a picture out and showed them that that's his dad. And then he's looking stupid. You don't you don't want to be that type of individual. This is why you got to go by the spirit. Yes, you got Israelites out there. They may look like a heathen, but they're Israelite. This is why we go by the spirit. For the Lord seeth not as men seeth. 
for men looketh on the outward appearance. See, they look on the outward appearance. You got dudes doing that. Oh, you a heathen. You're not Israelite. You a heathen. You can't do that. You got to go by the spirit. Because that individual, his father could be of a so-called Negro or Spank named American. You don't know. I had a friend. I forgot his name uh, in high school. And um, his father was of the tribe of Issachar. And his mom was an Edomite. And he took on more features of his mother. He had blonde hair. <laughs> he had blue eyes. He had freckles. He was like a straight up Edomite. But when you when you got up to him, he was speaking fluent Spanish, all that. Because of his father. His father was a, was of was of the tribe of Issachar. You got yes, you got Israelites that look like Edomites, but they are Jake. I had a friend that was like that in high school. He looked like if you looked at him, you you think he's an Edomite. He's not an Edomite though. His father was of the tribe of Issachar. His mother was an Edomite though. So you got speckled birds. You got Israelites that look like other nations, but they again they're Israelites. It says it says for men look upon the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. See, the Lord looketh on the spirit. So you can't judge on the outward appearance. Now we're gonna get more scriptures, and I want to go into some videos. I'm gonna show you that these are Jakes. I'm a, I got like. Three videos I'm gonna share. All right, now this is a dude named Jake Hollow. He's a he's a music artist, and he he was rapping with Chris Brown. This movie video is old, but <clears throat> I'm gonna show you that he's not he's a he's a Jake. And if you can't get it, the Lord ain't dealing with you. <laughs> you see him? He look he looked like an Edomite. He don't look like he don't look like a Jake. He like an Edomite, right? But he a Jake. You can tell. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this spirit. He don't vibe with no fucking Edomite, man. Make me forget what safe sex is. I'm a finish right now. I don't take breaths in. I recommend you don't listen to your friends. Shit ain't been the same since they stepped in. Twenty five deep in the same section. I'm on fuck you off hand. Tell me this ain't something that you do often. See, so he a Jake. That's a Jake. Who else can we use? Let's use uh Jake uh this dude named Guy. Now listen to this guy. This dude look like a straight up Edomite, right? But look, he's a Jake. You got a dude named Guy. He a singer. <clears throat> yes, sir. My dog. What's good, my boy? My G. It's good to see you. Oh my God. What's good? I'm gonna get straight to the song because they're gonna ramble for a while. But look. This dude look like a straight up Edomite, right? He's not an Edomite. Hey, shorty, not a mm -hmm. I'm lucky. Uh, I'm not gonna hold you though. What's up? I need to hold it. Hold it. Top your shirt. Oh, top and bottom. All right, all right. Lace you up or something. Yeah, actually, I got you. I got you right now. Come on, dog. I got you right now. Don't get you ready, boy. Take a man long for that baji, yo. That oh, Boy, I told you, I got you. I got you. Look at that. He vibing with nothing but straight up Jakes. You see that? So he's not he's not a he's not a uh he's not a a, a heathen. He's a Jake. Look at him. He's vibing with his people. He ain't vibing with no fucking Edomite, man. Look at that. This dude is a Jake. Still wondering. Can't you tell me I'm the one again? Uh, 
I can tell by the pics that you post that you for the same Read it through with the same, cause there's more to get I know everything they claim, but there's more to get Bye. And he sound good. He sound better than a lot of Jakes that you hear on the radio. To me, in my opinion, this dude even sound better than Future, than any of them guys, man. And this dude sound, this Jake, this individual sound better than a lot of these other rappers and singers that's in the industry. He's a Jake, though. So I'm telling you, <laughs> that's a Jake, man. If you can't, if you can't get that, I'm sorry, but that's a Jake. You can tell. Now there's another individual. His name is Lil Man J. He looked like a full-fledged Edomite, but this individual is a Jake. And I'm gonna play one of his songs for y'all too. Um, I was checking him out, and I was like, "Dang, this dude sound pretty good." He sound better than a lot of these other rappers. Check this out. So you can Jake man <laughs> he a Jake you can tell man it's, it's spirit look out he sound better to, to me he sound better than future he sound better than Lil Uzi he sound better than a lot of these rappers a lot of these guys that's a Jake man he don't vibe with no fucking Edomite bro he don't see if you look at him you think he? A, you think he a heathen? He ain't no heathen, man. He a Jake. You you can look at this dude. You think, oh, he's he's a, he a Edomite? Nah, he ain't no fucking Edomite. This is a Jake. This individual is not vibing with no fucking Edomite, man. Yeah, I played enough. We're going to get back to the scriptures. So there you go. You cannot judge on an outward appearance and to say somebody isn't an Israelite. You got to go by the spirit. The Lord scattered us. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. So you got Israelites out there that look like heathens. But they Israelites. Deuteronomy 4 and 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. See, we were scattered amongst the nations. There are 17 heathen nations, right, that were scattered amongst. And it's from number two on down. We're scattered amongst these 17 heathen nations. There's 17 heathen nations ruling over us right now. And we're scattered amongst them. You got Israelites scattered amongst the heathen. The Lord scattered us amongst these 17 heathen nations. It says, and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. That's a curse, a punishment that the Lord put upon us for disobeying the law, statutes, and commandments. 
who rebelled against the heavenly father. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. It says, whether the Lord shall lead you. So we were scattered amongst these 17 heathen nations. And as we were scattered amongst them, we mingled amongst them and learned their works. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Among all people. What people? The 17 heathen nations that's ruling over us today. We're scattered amongst these 17 heathen nations. <coughs> Salakia. From one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So there you go. That was a curse that was put upon us. For disobeying the Lord. We broke the old covenant. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. So you have Israelites out there that look like a heathen, but they are Israelite. Psalms 106 and 35. It says, But it says, but were mingled among the heathen. See, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians were scattered amongst the heathen. We're scattered among the heathen. We mingled among them and learned their works. So the Israelites, which is number one, the 12 tribes of Israel, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Spanish, Native American Indians, were scattered amongst the 17 heathen nations. The Lord created 18 nations, but he's only dealing with one specific nation out of the 18. That consists of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So we're scattered amongst these 17 heathen nations, number two on down. So you got Israelites, again, that may look like a heathen, but they are Israelites. Psalm Psalms 106 and 35, it says, but were mingled among the heathen and learnt their works. So again, again, you got Israelites out there that look like heathens, but they Israelites according to the scriptures. So again, you cannot judge on the outward appearance and say who is an Israelite or not. You got to go by the spirit, the spirit bear witness. So Lord, one is that so is that a fine? So next time I say, Shalom.